Hey Department of Comics fans, this is just a quick unboxing video because a lot came in this week. So just sharing. I sped this up because nobody wants to watch a bunch of unpacking. So just jumping to the books. Um, and as you can see from the first couple, the theme of the week is going to be Star Wars. This is a, um, a nice Lorna D variant, but um, heavy on the High Republic books for the week. Nice little extra Darth Vader thrown in on that pack. So moving into the next, um, we'll see some nice Ronins that came in and finally got some of these second prints of High Republic popping in also. A little bit for the PC on the side. I love that. Was it just cover for Werewolf by Night? Um, going into another box. I think there were about 10 boxes in total here. So again, I'm speeding through. So High Republic Adventures number one. Good stack. I think this is a huge book. The potential in that for firsts is great. So I recommend everyone grabbing some while they're still so cheap. To sit on them, you won't regret uh, however many you pick up. Hopefully because I picked up a few. Here we're grabbing some more for the PC on the side. But the focus is again going to be on High Republic number one. Good chunk of second prints that came in here. Luckily, condition looked great on all of these and in all of them in general. That Mardi Gras cover for Strange uh, Academy is a PC that I really love. I love those. Both There's another one coming up that I love both of those uh, Mardi Gras they did. This is yet another pile of High Republic Adventure, number one. And yes, some more. Now this box, I wasn't sure what it was at first. They're really heavy. Popped it open and I was like, oh, second prints of 55. And yes, that is a whole case full and this is another half case full. The reason is that each one of these copies came with 50 of the regular cover. So a little heavy on that at the moment. Here, I didn't even know you could fit these into the CGC boxes, but you can ship a whole half uh, short box in the CGC box. And the rest of that is High Republic Adventures number one. Second box in a little bit of a, a few loose ones here, which are all High Republic Adventures. One more Mardi Gras. And the rest of that short box is High Republic Adventures again. So yes, I went very heavy on High Republic Adventures number one. I can't recommend it more for anyone else I talk to. It's a great book. I have one more box to show, and they're graded books. And before I open this, I just want to talk about grading modern books and pressing. You do not need to press every book that goes into get graded, especially if you're doing nine eighths of modern books that just came out recently. If you can learn to just eyeball grade a book, tell what defects will not get you that nine eight, and just filter those books out. You can save yourself a lot of money by submitting books with a 9.8 pre-screen that you've picked that you feel confident will get you a 9.8 and skip the pressing costs. Um, I have about a 95% success rate with the books I send in and I sent, I got like hundreds of 9.8s from last year. I didn't press any of them. And once you get the eye for it, it can be pretty easy to do, if, especially if you have a lot of books to go through. So... It is okay to say no to pressing. And if you get rejected on that pre-screen, you might just need to press it and send it right back in and get your 9.8, but it just saves you money on the pressing. So that's all. Let's uh, pop the box open now. So this is 25 books sent in with the 9.8 pre-screen. Uh, I got three rejects this time. A couple Batgirl 50s that I don't really care about. Um, and Something's Killing the Children, one second print. Took a close look, there is the slightest color break on a tick that I think killed it. I don't think I can resubmit this one, it's going to be a 9.6, um, but maybe I'll grade it for a 9.6. Okay, we're starting off on Kindness of Ravens 1, Just uh, might just be PC. Then we've got Turtles 110. Now the A cover CGC marks as the preview for last Ronin and for the variant they don't don't know why but that's what they did Wolverine 6 is the first Solemn they didn't mark it um, as the first appearance on there but hopefully something comes of that um, 
We have Batgirl 50. That's the first Ryan Wilder. So that'll be in the new show coming out. Don't know if that's going to hit or not. We'll see. And then one more Turtles. That's the variant cover again. We move into Something's Killing the Children. So that's number two, Unlocked Retailer Edition. And we have the sixth print of number one. Happy to see that one. Okay, followed by the fifth print of number one. Also happy to see that. Um, the more regular uh, uh, J. Lee cover, number one also. And then have the Frizen Unlocked Retailer, number one. Go to number 11. That's the Frizen variant cover for 11. Uh, that's number three, A cover. This is the number two, uh, fourth print. So that's a nice one to see. And number two, second print. Also a good one. Uh, I've got number four. Uh, that's the unlocked retailer edition. And then number four, A cover. And this one I was happy to see come in. This is number three, second print. Very happy to see that pop in. It's the number six retailer unlocked edition. And then number five, the A cover. And then the last one's number four, uh, second printing. So again, my comments from earlier, uh, none of these were pressed. These all, as is, there were some that I set aside that do need to be pressed, um, a couple of small things, but so a few more that I have to send in after I press them, but you can send these books in unpressed and get these nine eights. So that's it. Thanks a lot.